I am Paul Smith from SNS Floats. We're producing now a new clamp on muscle float for the muscle industry for high energy areas to eliminate floats getting lost off the farms and lashing ending up on beaches. The thing is, everyone in New Zealand has a muscle float, but no one thinks about the rope and where it's gone. And we do not find that volume of rope on the beaches, so it's going into the sea column as microplastics is breaking down, birds are eating it as food, and other things are eating it along the way. Different sea conditions, it's moving like that the whole time, which is actually loosening it, and it's actually cutting through itself as it's actually wobbling back to the forwards. And here, this is how much lashing we lose off either end of a float. We call it a dog bone, but it's actually a membrane that we put around that backbone and uh, into our float, and that's what actually does most of the work. So we're crushing on that, to actually hold our rope in place. We've got wee ribs inside it so it doesn't slide along. And the tighter we do it, the more that forms into the helix of the rope and actually stops us skidding along. For me, it started 30 years ago. In my apprenticeship, I could see the loss of plastics. So we first made first float, which was called Clamber Boys. We struggled to get them out there. We had some other fundamental problems within the float. It really got shelved at that time. The industry didn't see it needed it and then through covert I decided to have one more shot at it again. People do share the concerns and we've got to think outside the square. You can't just keep on taking inshore technology offshore. I love what I'm doing because I'm making a difference. Not to see floats on the beach would be a wish list for the future. <laughs>